Hey guys, welcome to my channel where we do life together. I'm Vanessa and today I'm talking to you about love. <laughs> well, so Valentine's Day just happened last week and it just kind of gave me some inspiration for this video because I saw so much shade on my feed about, oh, if only I weren't single, I could be kissing with Bay right now. Or, oh, if I uh, just had a boyfriend. If only I felt loved. And I'm sitting here like, I don't know about y'all, but I love being single. I love it. I love it, okay? And I just thought, why is our culture so wrapped up in a relationship? And just not any relationship, but it's like your romantic relationship. We are so caught up in it that we forget the number one relationship that we kind of got to sort out a little bit is with yourself. You see, it always kind of baffled me growing up that if I were to be in a relationship automatically I was like interesting and I was like well I gotta be interesting if I have someone then I'm not really interesting am I it's more like you're interested in us yeah so I didn't really get that but I really think that our culture and society needs to realize that being single is okay like you are fine you will not keel over because you're not in a relationship and there are so many people who are so dependent on relationship that they forget that they got to learn to be loving themselves. Let me tell you, being single is one of the best phases that you can go through in life because when you are single and when you're on your own and you're doing your thing, you learn stuff about yourself that you may not necessarily have known. And the first person that you need to get a relationship really good foundation ship with is not only God, but yourself. So if you can't learn and figure out yourself and what it is that you like, what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What are things that you're just, you know, you're not so good at, but you could find someone else who is, if you don't have that down, how are you supposed to get somebody who is those things? Because the last thing that we want to do here is spend time building a relationship that won't work out because number one time is precious and time is the most important commodity that you can cherish time is something that is so valuable but we forget how valuable it is time is the one thing that you cannot get back this past second i didn't get it back this past minute i did not get it back but you can get back a new boyfriend you can get back a new girlfriend you can get back different relation like new relationships to place new ones but to replace old ones but time is so precious and I feel like we love as a society to emphasis the rush into a relationship and I'm not saying these things like I don't want to be in a relationship because I do one day one day but what we need to realize is we got to enjoy each phase of our lives as they come and go. And right now I'm in the single phase and I love it. I truly do love it. And the thing, the other thing is there are people in this phase who just don't. They don't like being single. But then their thirst is so real that it's like you won't find someone if you're so focused on finding someone. It's on, you really do have to work on you. I'm sure you have goals. I'm sure you've got dreams, something that you've wanted to do all your whole life. Why don't you do that while you're single? I'm sure there are things you want to accomplish. And this is why I want to start a series called the Why I Love Being Single series, because I think it's a message that needs to be portrayed across the world and maybe not the whole world, but you know, just our society. So that way we realize, okay, you know, I am okay on my own. I learned to love myself and I have self-respect and that way I won't tolerate 
any BS that comes my way and waste, what is it, time. So welcome to the intro video of the Why I Love Being Single series. And I hope that you can stay tuned for the next videos and see what it is about you that you love about being single. Bye guys.